Hello. Wow, first of all, I just got in the car and my camera is dying. I'm probably gonna have to finish this with my phone. But anywho, I am going to get my lips done. You can obviously tell by the title. Do I need my lips done again? No, because I just got them done four months ago. Do I want them? Yes, because I want fuller lips. So, um, At the next light, turn left. So, I'm going to get my lips done now. Um, so, I will keep you guys posted once I get there. For some reason, whenever I'm like, okay, I'm going to film today or film this week my face decides to break out so there goes that but whatever it's normal it's life um anyway i'll see you guys when i get there at the lights so we're gonna do injection we're gonna put the cream the number cream for 20 minutes and then i'll tell you what we're gonna do for the next hour i'm excited <laughs> i'm not excited for the pain Nice. They're still good, yeah. Still good. I just want more mm -hmm. volume. More volume. The contour you have. Mm hmm Nice. For 20 minutes. show you guys like I'm using the regular cream and the black cream if you're looking at me
Okay, so this is immediately after. I literally just got them done like five minutes ago. Um, they're swelling, but they're not swelling as much as they are going to swell. It's going to swell more as the day goes on, but it is normal. The f this is my third time getting them injected. The first time, I was freaking the hell out and i might have some footage from then i'll insert it if i do i was freaking out so bad i was like oh my god i'm botched i fucking hate this i want this dissolved right now i was panicking pretty much but by the second day they went down for the most part um i did have some bruising but it all went away, and once everything settled, I was obsessed with my lips, obviously. I came back two other times. Um, the second time, I didn't have much swelling. Um, I had a little bit, but nothing compared to the first time. But I do hear um, that the more you get them done, the less they swell each time. The sun is killing me. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you heard me earlier in the video before she did them. Um... I, the lips were fine, like, I still had, like, the shape that I wanted, but I just wanted a little more, like, volume, like, mm, some pout, um, so that's why I went and got more done. Hello, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, I'm finally home, it is, like, 7, 8 o'clock, so it's been, like, 8 hours since I got them done, oh my god, my face looks so bad you guys i have not seen my face break out this bad in so long i'm like what the fuck is it but i know what it is i stopped eating dairy years ago because my face broke out but recently i've been eating it more often and my face is not happy about it i'm sad but anyway these are my lips right now there are some bumps some lumps that like dissolve i guess i can say in a couple of days with time um i'm swollen not super duper swollen and i have a couple of bruising i'm trying to talk so fast because my camera's dying again but yeah that's it for um the day they're swollen, swelling will go down, bruising will go down, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. But anyway, um, I will update you guys tomorrow morning on what they look like. But as of right now, I love them. And um, this is all very normal. This is the morning after. Um... So, I wish I would have put on the ointment after I showed you guys my lips so you could see the bruising better but so if you are prone to cold sores um oftentimes when you get lip lip injections you will have a flare up of cold sores because if you didn't know trauma to the lip is also something that causes the cold sores to appear and obviously somebody sticking a needle in your lip like back to back to back so harshly um is trauma to your lips so me personally i am prone to cold sores the first time i got lip injections i broke out really bad in cold sores um so i'm trying to prevent that this time so around my lip i put um cold sore o cold sore ointment and then i just put vaseline all over my lip um, I noticed that wherever it hurts the most or wherever, like, the bruising is, like, the darkest, that's where the cold sores appear, for me at least. Um, so I tried to focus it there, but, um, yeah, today they're swollen, probably be swollen probably until, like, the end of tomorrow, but I'm loving the shape so far. Um, and it is thanksgiving morning so i'm gonna go cook and prep some stuff but i'm gonna try to put some makeup on cover these bruises and um you know put my living room outfit on and um i'll come back later and show you guys what it's looking like so i put some lipstick on 
I was actually struggling to put the lipstick on because the bumps still haven't dissolved and they were they're swollen and they were hurting but happy late Thanksgiving hello this is day I got them done on Wednesday today's Friday so yeah I feel like the first two times I got them done, I did not have this much bruising. Um, no cold sores yet, but I feel like, I don't know. They might be coming soon, hopefully not, because I don't like that. Um, um, just so you guys can see like more of like a far away view of what they look like. Um, they're still swollen, I believe. Like, for sure. Hopefully, by tomorrow, the swelling goes down. Um, but yeah. Okay, so it is now Sunday, the week after. So it's been a week and a half. And my lips seem to be completely healed. Um, no bruising, no more swelling, no more discomfort. And by the grace of God, I got no cold sores this time. Thank you, God, because the cold sores for me are the worst part, but I got none this time. So thankful for that. And, um, this is them. I just have some clear lip gloss on. That's it. Um... But I just wanted to kind of like do a summary of everything. So the girl who does them for me, she is located in Brooklyn, New York. I will leave her information down below. Um, the filler she uses is Revelax Deep. She prefers to use that one because she likes the look that it gives better. And um, in her opinion, it lasts much longer than some other fillers um the procedure takes about i feel like in total it takes about maybe 40 minutes 45 minutes because she leaves the numbing cream on for 20 to 25 minutes and then you know the filler is right after healing takes one to two weeks swelling is normal for a couple days bruising is normal so you know don't freak out when you see it it's gonna happen and um yeah but i do want to say if you do choose to get your lip fillers do them for yourself don't do it because you were encouraged by people like me per se i did it because i always just wanted like a fuller upper lip and a poutier look i really did it because i wanted it and also, please, please, please do your research. Do not just go to anybody. Make sure you're going to somebody who you can trust and who is going to do a good professional job. I think that's pretty much it. I'm very happy with my look because they look full, but they don't look super fake in my opinion. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, as always, please leave a comment below. And I will get back to you guys. Or you can always DM me. I'll also leave my Instagram down below. And yeah. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate the love. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.